with no Longju, not oh. to the item. So Lissandra gonna come out in the mid lane for Crown. It's an old favorite. He was a big Lissandra player years ago. We have had no Lissandra outside of Kuzan once or twice. And this might be the last time we see Summoner's Rift on stream here today. The blue squad, Samsung Galaxy in their home oh. colors this time around. The unexpected 2-0 start against the Korean champions. That early wave clear for Crown, 6-3 in farm. Some of this, I think, being that BDD had spent a little bit of time leashing, but either way, he's going to be okay for himself. And there's level two, the attempted poke coming around. And now, of course, they can track the jungle pathing of Cuz. He will walk by this ward shortly. Cuz waiting around the wings, reveals for a control ward, and then going to go for his second recall of the game. Are we can Ray pops the pressure. barrier. He is so afraid of going down. 300 health left on him. Then the re-engage was Cordage. Not going to be had. Here comes the rock jump for the ruler. Going to burn his escape tools. Here comes Shen, though, back into the fight. It's going to be a 3v3 as Grilla forced to run away. And looks like a pillar has stopped the Shen ulti. Yeah, just the shield enough to sh uh, scare them off there. Ambition now has gotten off a base and is back out on the field. Level 6 available. He's gonna look for this one, cause out of mana on this. He's gotta look for a way out as BDD look to rejoin. Won't quite got a 4JJ, but the damage output might be enough. Couple more shots to do him, and one more auto might be lethal. The heal comes in, and the re-engage for Crown puts him away. Keep this teammates alive, cause dangerously low. Smites for health. Here comes the backline axe. There's ambition now on the wrong side of this battle, finding a bit more. They're running back towards the team. The blue buff still whittling away, but looks like blue will be secured by Samsung Galaxy. They're able to fight their way out and take the blue buff prize in the end even without the State United having been burned earlier, setting up all this vision because they have this advantage. State United is available. The Teleport also available. And that's why Cuz is just waiting for a counter game. Not want to be had just yet. 600 gold lead though, Samsung Galaxy starting to grow their advantages across these roles. Cuz gonna face it into a vision. Suddenly it's gonna be four versus one. And there's simply no way out. Explosive cast by the second. But it doesn't matter. First blood for Crown. Really nice proactive ultimate usage there from Kube. Can just go back to the top side as well and not lose this turret to be a decent situation. It's not just, hey, the Sandra counters to Lear. Certainly not true. But the way they're using it fits the game plan in the late game. Big criticism for Lissandra is one CC, and that's all she provides. When there's three others, plan's not going to be a factor there. Adaptation is so incredibly important here on the world stage. We already saw, you know, innovation take effect. Oh, not going to get some of this one, but they could get some more of the damage on this. As the ulti comes across, they're all invulnerable. Gorilla stays alive, but Frey, not going to be as likely. Maybe Barrier Pop staying alive a bit longer as it re-engages here. Khan's teleport there as well, and Crown. Again, first to the scene, BDD going to walk back to mid doing nothing. Samsung Galaxy, every game starting to look more and more the same. They are in control from almost start to finish. And we've yet to see Longju be really proactive enough outside of a couple of late kills from BDD in the first game as Khan using his ultimate to stay alive a little bit longer. Might have the damage though, but Spirit's Rage going to buy some time. Killer comes in for a bit more. A few more idols to do it. The flash to chase! And that could be exactly what Longju needed. Khan with the solo kill. Will Ambition be able to chase him down? There's a ward here in the tri so the answer is no, but that is the Khan that people wanted to see on the world stage. Pressure, all these burst tools and crowd control. Later on, once you get to the later, longer fights of the game, it will be a bit tasked to find some extra DPS. Here we go is another, another look at the massive healing that you get with Trundle. The ultimate is able to shred resistances. It's yep. tons of healing back uh, on the frozen ground there as well. That that just means that Cube is free to use Stand United whenever he wants, and there's no teleport for Longju to answer. So, effectively, bottom knockup is there, getting a bit lower. The charm in the barrier pop is gonna be a reengage back into the turret. Can they find the kills? The ulti pop for the Shen. The ultis are there. The shield is gonna stay alive in the sun. The top coming across. Cuz gonna drop for the first one, and look at the Goomba stop board. Ruler wants a bit more BDD's wall only. Buys them the time to run away. One for zero, Samsung. As we're about to say, effectively, bottom lane is Shen's domain, and Samsung are able to force the fight that they want under the turret. Even though it could have been a slightly cleaner, they do get the kill. And again, instant teleport back up to topside. BDD has continually had to give ground here. Crown just running over the map. Ambition now also invading on red side, and they might actually find each other. The back up, though, so for now, Longju. Are still stunted. You see Prey still in mid lane. Keep the advantage. Honestly, teleport seems to be just faster to use than Weaver's Wall, which BDD's only really used to keep his team alive and stop the chase. But now Khan has gotten into the mid lane and ulti coming across a trade of them. 
as he only comes in only for a moment. Now they're re-engaged on Nakazi. He's going to get low, but Pop will stay alive a little bit longer. Now on a grill and jump down. That is a death penalty. <laughs> zero four clean kills here for samsung and that will be barren as the reward as well this was a multi-man flank ambition was coming from behind the members of longju and they immediately make the call teleport in stand united goes and samsung clean up it was a multi-step plan they have been being able to pull up flawlessly today they have just taken over red side control suddenly ambitions behind the kills are confirmed bdd can only watch in horror as the team goes down and they'll hear that blood curdling sound of baron dying again now here come the baron up samsung oh, got the cast couple of button really but not quite enough now bdd oh. cleansing away just barely stays alive will there be a re-engage con getting lower and lower on health that half hp to get the ulti to buy some time nice re-engage from gorilla but prey so low he can barely even auto attack and no kills to be had, and not enough meaningful damage. His mid lane will still fall, despite Longju's best efforts. Happy to keep fighting as the gold values are so low for Longju for the items are there, even though it's a pretty cheap build. Onto the side of Prey, they keep forking, forcing forward, they keep taking objectives, they're gonna happily cut to the bot side, and make another tower. No defense to be had, Juve and Ruler gonna make these attacks land. Explosive charge to hit there, and there we go. Five to two, and turrets the 2-0 on Drake's as the Baron buff continues to push in as mid lane also under fire. Because not going to find anything. So many people. We're talking. Well, Ambition actually has got everyone after him. Uh, he's got no flash, and there's the knock. If this could be enough to get one kill, but it would only be the second kill of the entire game because bot lane is still under fire. So though Prey gets his first kill, the inhibitor likely to fall. 5v4, teleport flank comes in for Khan. This is the big play that Longju needs. They're trying to chain together the kills here. BDD has his ultimate as well for Talia. And Khan's in this mix. Good. Can they get Ruler gets over the wall? He's safe for this one. Kube might not be so lucky, but he jumps across as well. Maybe Core JJ, the one sacrifice. He does not have Flash, but to only get a single kill is not enough for Longju. Again, the Baron buff here. Crown pushing on top side. They get another turret. And even though Longju chased down two kills, it is just a drop in the bucket. They very periodically have these reads when they need to, and this is the result. Here they go, caught outside in enemy territory. <laughs> Damage on ambition stuns have already been used. The ulti's on cooldown by now. Down to 1,000 HP and flash to get some of the people pushed around. Constant up, flashing away from the Terek. The re-engage, they're gonna find Kube. A bit of damage, he's gonna go back to safety. A triple knockup for Gorilla. Is this the fight? Beat it, he gets one. They're gonna find a second now for number three. Can they force Samsung out? Of course, the jungler's there, but there's no major objective to take. It's only farm for Longju. But Longju buy themselves some time. Some much needed time here as they return to their base in ruins we criticize so many teams you know throughout this tournament of not utilizing the shen pick well not utilizing that global pressure well but samsung have done it so well here that they've been able to consistently invade on that blue quadrant of the jungle of longju take control force them to give up slowly but surely small edges in that area and now they're knocking at the door and Khan is answering looking for this one half hp pops guilty but he, oh, how long can he stay alive he's trying to tank up the front line he'll be coming across from varus will find a couple of roots as the terracol pops as well for the invulnerability to re-engage in comes crown he can't even be touched pops the cell phone for the slow and the first one comes in as trundle drops the second as well as cuz is gone the rocket jump forward ruler wants a third they're gonna get a stun on prey he's to lose his life as well number four and five next up for the chopping block as bdd can only run away and hope his base won't lose without him but the rest of the team ready to push through the bot lane the wave already pushed the inhibitor easy to drop samsung galaxy defying expectations 3-0 was a likely result but not in the way you expect here as they look to knock down bdd he can barely wave through the protobot to land the stun the root the ace and there is nothing left to stop Samsung Galaxy as they take down their first opponent. They are the first in the semifinals, and who can really stop this team? What an impressive performance. Last year's runner up. This year, coming in with so much less excitement due to the performance in summer. Some of the key members, Crown, you know, struggling a bit, but rallying so heavily here.
casting Longju because of their upstart nature, because of their young players who had not played a lot of games together, it always felt like even with their impressive start to the season, when would the wheels come off? When will finally a team really suss them out? In certain series, KT was able to do that, but they won the title in unexpected fashion over SKT.